What's up guys, AP here, we're at Wingco, gonna do some grocery shopping. This video is to show you guys uh, pretty much how to diet on a budget. Uh, I mean, it's really not rocket science, and I wanna show you guys that. Um, today's primary goals are to hit about one gram of protein per pound of body weight a day. Um, so we're gonna calculate that for seven days total. Um, we're gonna shoot for Say if you're wanting to grow muscle mass, um, trying to be in a caloric surplus, we're gonna use a good amount of fats, good amount of carbohydrates, cheap. I mean, it's really not that expensive if you just actually plan out your grocery shopping. I mean, I hate when um, you know kids my age will come up and ask me, you know, what's the, what's the what's the secret of like gaining muscle mass. How do I want to get big and you know what supplements do I take what kind of crazy shit do you do and I'm like man it's all about the diet seriously and uh, I want to show you guys like simple foods nutritious simple foods go a long ways it's gonna do everything that you want and more if you just put in the work and you plan for it so we're gonna start today um, food groups we're gonna start with today is eggs I mean, gotta start your day off with some eggs, good saturated fat. Most people are um, scared of saturated fat, but it's that's a fairy tale. Um, eggs have, you know, a decent amount of protein, but we're looking for that saturated fat. So first off, let's go get some eggs. All right, so made up to the eggs. First thing I want you to notice is the cost. For five dozen eggs, about three fifty-eight, about four bucks. Each egg has about six grams of protein and four grams of fat. So I'm gonna grab one of these. Always check your eggs, they're not cracked, because it's a bad thing. No, but seriously, so I go through about one of these a week. Um, I have about eight eggs a day, so Eight times four is 32, 32 grams of you know, animal fat coming from my eggs. Um, the rest of my fat really comes from like, you know, either red meat or chicken. Um, but this video is more on how to diet on a, a budget. And my goal is to hit like $50. So all of the college kids around me saying they can't do it, I can literally show them step by step how to do it. Um, so there's no, there's no pussying out. There's no excuses. Everybody can get swole and shredded. Don't anyway. forget shredded. <laughs> Don't forget shredded. But so next we're gonna look at chicken and cut uh, and Winco actually. This is done 99 a pound. And remember our primary goal is to hit at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight. And since protein is the most expensive macronutrient, this is where I usually go first. So I did some calculations before we came to the store and I'm about 170 pounds. So I need about nine pounds of chicken per week. So you want to guesstimate over that because you're gonna lose some water. But if I get nine pounds of chicken and I eat about 18 ounces of chicken a day, split in three meals, six ounces a meal, then I'm gonna hit about 175 grams of protein. So you know that your chicken. Now, obviously, I look for the fresh stuff, the cheapest. I'm gonna have to prepare it, cut off some of the fat, but it's worth it for the cheaper stuff. So, to get about nine pounds, I mean, here's a 5.2 and like 4.8. It's a little more than nine, that's fine. I'm gonna eat it anyway, so. So, with these two, with eggs, having about eight eggs a day and then having about 18 ounces of chicken a day, I'm gonna hit that 175 gram of protein, um, extended usually over five meals. So now I'm only at, you know, 10 bucks a piece for this, 20 bucks, and that was four bucks, so we'll say, you know, $25. Um, so that's only halfway there. And uh, now the carb source, cheapest way is gonna be oats and like rice. Maybe they have sweet potatoes or yams on sale. So that's where we're gonna go next. 
All right, so next we have uh, rice. We need some rice. You know what? I'm just gonna go for the cheapest rice, just uh, long grain white rice, 42 cents a pound. I don't really have a preference on like white or brown. I know the glycemic index are, um, you know, they're different rices, but for cost of two wise and get the carbs in, we're gonna go with long grain white rice. So we did some calculations before we came, and to get in the calorie surplus for I would say maybe majority of the kids or, or people that are looking to gain weight are going to be on the upper end of the 2,000 calories almost hitting 3,000 calorie range um, and so one cup of rice dry is about three cups cooked so if we have about six cups of cooked rice a day and then we're gonna head over to get some oats have about a cup of oats um, or two cups of oats a day dry then we're gonna be looking at pushing around 400 grams of carbs and about 175 grams of protein and then I actually um, changed the amount of eggs we're gonna be eating we're gonna be eating about 12 eggs a day so we're gonna eat about a dozen eggs a day um, which is gonna bump our fat up a little bit protein up a little bit so the amount of calories um, we need be pushing almost 3,000 calories for like my body to be in caloric surplus to gain muscle mass. So we're gonna see how much uh, getting about you know how much rice we get for 43 cents a pound and hitting those macros. So if I do like 10 scoops, 10 scoops, um, it's gonna be like 30 cups. So, like I said, we need about um, two cups dry a day. We're gonna try to get six cups cooked. Um, I measured those is about uh, about a cup. So we're gonna see how much that's gonna cost. Let's get what the hell is that? Like forty three cents. Forty three cents a pound. So it's like for five cents. pounds. So it's yeah. like two dollars. It's like yeah, two two fifty, three bucks. Well, let's say like a, the highest three bucks. Yeah. Um, so that's three bucks plus the four bucks for the eggs. We'll round that to ten plus the twenty. So we're only at like still thirty bucks, right? So yeah, you can't do this because that's about as much as what a thirty rack. So all you college kids need all the money to do this. I mean, what are your priorities? You know. Anyways, next we're going to go look at some uh, oats, so. Alright, so next we're going to grab some oats. Oats have about, uh, you know, 24 grams of carbs per half scoop, so it's a 48, rounded to 50 grams of carbs per one cup. And um, to fill that gap of the rest of our calories, we're going to get about two cups of oats a day in the seven days, about 14 cups dry. So with that, um, I'm gonna do like 10, 10 heaping scoops or like this scooper, you know, it's about a cup, I'm just gonna say. So I like the quick oats rather than the, the old fashioned oats. They're just like a little more broken down, digest easier for me. So it doesn't really matter. it for hitting our macros I think from what I did calculation wise we're gonna be sitting at around 2600 2700 calories but from the oats it's gonna add a little more fat to the protein so maybe even more so I think that's a good base and we're gonna see how much this weighs so we're gonna price estimate of how much we're gonna spend So it's like a little under four at 64 cents a pound. That's still like three bucks, right? So uh, add on the three off of that, we're at 30. So we'll just round it by five, 35 bucks. Um, that means that we have like 15 bucks to spare for looking to spend 50 bucks a week. Um, I usually spend it on veggies. I would 
definitely best for veggies or a different type of carbohydrate source like sweet potatoes or yams. Just the micronutrients um, are actually important. Um, it's just hard when you're on a budget. So that's where we're gonna go next. We're gonna go check out what we can get on the produce um, for veggies. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna pick up some broccoli. Uh, when I look to look at veggies, I look at all the greens. Uh, I stick to pretty much green veggies. I'm gonna look at broccoli. I'm gonna look at cucumbers. Um, I'm gonna look at spinach or kale, some of sorts. So let's pick up a couple crap of broccoli. Ninety cents a pound. Let's probably gonna be like a pound or two, or a buck or two. Cents, we need a couple of them, so still like all 50 max, so we're still like under 35 bucks. Okay, I opened this, I went to the channel. Can... Oh, don't get like soft ones, those are disgusting. to put in with my egg yellow onion um, so cheap in that one I mean 35 pound so gonna be under two bucks so so pretty much hit all our macros you can got some veggies in for digestive issues you know micronutrients and stuff like that so let's go to check out and see how much it is. All right. What's up guys, just got home. I'm gonna put away the groceries, but first I wanna go over how much it really was to get all that food. To get a week's worth of food and be hitting some decent macro ratios where I'm getting at least, at least a gram of a protein per pound of body weight. I mean, we're getting about, you know, I did calculations and these are actually the overall macros for what we got today. Um, 62 grams of fat, 396 grams of carbs, and about 194 grams of protein per day, setting you about 2,900 calories, um, and that's from getting a meal or two meals with six eggs and a cup of oats dry, and then getting about three meals with six ounces of chicken and two cups of rice cooked. So I know I didn't mention like, you know, soy sauce and stuff like that. Those things are also cheap. But check this out. It was only $34.43. $34.43. $34.43. I mean, if you can't pick, you know, budget on little things here and there to put that amount of money together, then I don't think you're trying hard enough. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, and, but you still want to you know, look a certain way, you have certain goals, then prepare yourself to succeed. Seriously. I hope this showed you that you can. I mean, you're gonna, it's going to take sacrifice. No, don't get me wrong. It's going to take sacrifice because you're going to be eating the same things pretty much every day. But, you know, what's, what's the price to, to achieve your goals, right? Now, this is for people that are not able to buy, you know, red meat and more vegetables and, you know, different protein sources. Usually, you know, obviously protein is the most expensive macronutrient. But it's, it's all about, you know, what do you want to achieve with what you have? So anyways, I'm not calling anybody out, but I wanted you guys to see how much it really costs. And compared to, say, you're buying a 12-pack of beer and drinking every, you know, weekend or whatever or, or a 
bottle of wine or you know little things here and there eating fast food that's five to ten dollars a meal I mean if you eat three meals of that you're pretty much sitting pretty close right so I want you guys to think about that I want you guys to prepare yourself um, and I hope this is helpful alright guys thanks peace